99 of what your body does it does itself, your body actually trusts you with very little. My body alright I'm going to do all the important stuff like regulate your chemistry and keep your organs pulsating. You just steer this thing and give it fuel. Me sits with bad posture staring at computer screen for 9 hours a day producing high stress levels because of work while binge eating Doritos and energy drinks. Yes, because if I had to calculate and regulate manually my heart rate, respiration rate, hormones and blood pressure all the time, it would be pretty much a disaster. 99 of what your body does itself is done by other bodies, your body trusts itself very little too. It is pretty interesting how most of our day-to-day -day lives has nothing to do with how our body functions. Yeah we can eat healthy and exercise, but we don't know what's actually going on underneath. If you are separate from your body who are you? And who is the you that observes these separate yous? A good idea, to be honest. I do the weirdest things to with my body. I am my body. The only things you control are things that having control over actually helps you with. There is almost never a situation where stopping your heart or modifying your cells would help you with, but if you're underwater, then not breathing is a huge advantage. We'd all do stupid shit if we could control it. I'd grow my fingernails really fast like Wolverine. And I am glad for it, if my heartbeat was manual I would have forgotten a long time ago. Body increases heart rate. Mind why did you do that, it hurts. Body you need to be aware RN. Mind my guy this is a library. Body anxiety intensifies. I'm pretty glad I don't have to consciously move digested food through my intestines towards my ass. Also, you're now breathing manually. It's also pretty neat that the brain is the only part of the body that can claim ownership of the rest of the body as a property. What's not neat is that the property can be absolutely unpredictable and really hard to manage lol. Interesting that you separate you from your body. What is you? Yes, it's even more interesting how your subconscious protects you from yourself. If you take a high enough dose of psychedelics, you'll feel things you were never supposed to feel and you'll be in control in ways you were never supposed to be. It's honestly terrifying in some ways. And I am glad for it, if my heartbeat was manual I would have forgotten a long time ago. It's funny to use hindsight, and question how much of your life has turned out the way that you had imagined, or planned. At least I find it funny. LOL. It's funny to use hindsight, and question how much of your life has turned out the way that you had imagined, or planned. At least I find it funny. LOL. Black heart black flag hashtag skull and crossbones hash. Evidently my body had no idea what to do with that gas station burrito I ate last night. Whatever's that one is, I can destroy whatever that 99 is doing. Now that's one powerful percent. Actually, it is the opposite. We trust these autonomous functions enough to deal with other stuff like consciousness and thoughts. But this trust can be also broken, so the conscious brain takes over control to a certain extent e.g. in the form of sleep apnea devices. You have neurological evidence that 99 of bodily movement is of the autonomic nervous system and not the somatic nervous system, or is this shower thought just a wild guess? When I ran the numbers I got 990. One of us got a decimal place wrong. TBF you are your body. Your mind is an abstraction your brain uses to justify what it has already done. There is no proof you can make any true choices. I might not control the nitty details, but I've got the steering wheel, gas pedal, and music. Put another way if you had to use conscious control to breathe, 99 of us would forget and die. Congratulations! Anybody reading this comment is now manually breathing. And now you're manually blinking. Well my fucking body can't regulate my brain chemistry correctly so I have to take antidepressants and antipsychotics. Body can't do shit right, is why we can't have nice things. 99 of the poor life choices we make are because of our stupid brains. 
or you don't actually exist and it's 100 the body and for some reason there's something that it is like to be you and you are along for the whole show of the universe and experiences but only from the perspective of this body. When I ran the numbers I got 990. One of us got a decimal place wrong. When I ran the numbers I got 990. One of us got a decimal place wrong. When I ran the numbers I got 990. One of us got a decimal place wrong. Why is it that you speak as if the autonomic nervous system is not a part of yourself and treat it as if it's something distinct? Your body actually trusts you with very little as if it's like a different entity altogether and separated from your being. We are our bodies. And that means some things we don't control, like our breathing, heart rate, stomachs, can be controls with intent and willpower. Successful coding. Code to discount user error. Code to discount user error. Jokes on you, I am now breathing manually. Jokes on you, I am now breathing manually. Jokes on you, I am now breathing manually. Blink Sam Blink. Blink Sam Blink. We'd all do stupid shit if we could control it. I'd grow my fingernails really fast like Wolverine. Blink Sam Blink. Might as well or it doesn't get done. Code to discount user error. You are your body. If you are separate from your body who are you? And who is the you that observes these separate yous? If you are separate from your body who are you? And who is the you that observes these separate yous? I mean you're still doing it. Just background processes. Yes, it's even more interesting how your subconscious protects you from yourself. If you take a high enough dose of psychedelics, you'll feel things you were never supposed to feel. And you'll be in control in ways you were never supposed to be. It's honestly terrifying in some ways. Yes, it's even more interesting how your subconscious protects you from yourself. If you take a high enough dose of psychedelics, you'll feel things you were never supposed to feel. And you'll be in control in ways you were never supposed to be. It's honestly terrifying in some ways. And the 1% I'm in charge of I still manage to mess up royally. And the 1% I'm in charge of I still manage to mess up royally. We assume our consciousness guides our life, but biologically it's really just a throw in along for the ride. There's some comfort in that. Saying your body trusts you with very little makes for a snappy title, but the reality is that the conscious mind isn't meant to be doing that many things at once. It's still your brain in charge of those things. Just the brain stem and lower portions. How could I get anything done if I had to constantly pay attention to breathing making my heart beat and a million other things? My therapist once told me that your body needs to learn it can trust you. Your mind compels you to do all kinds of crazy shit to your body, overeating, substance abuse, not exercising, just generally not caring for it. With advanced forms of meditation, we have the potential to control every aspect of our body. I think it's more that our body is on autopilot. Anyone watch the anime cells at work code black? Follows a red blood cell inside a guy who takes horrible care of his body. I thought it was pretty good. I don't understand people's fixation with separating you from the body. My body does 100 of the things by itself. I am part of my body, or rather my body and I are one. You know what though, it would sure be nice if I could get a HUD or if I could close my eyes and get regular updates through a dashboard on how everything was doing in there. Sure some devices might be able to do similar things, but they are not as perfect as updates straight from the source would be. Also although I am glad I don't have to micromanage all these subconscious systems, it sure would be nice if I could at least give some direct feedback in case something is going wrong hey, uh, those cells over there that are hiding from you? Yeah, those are cancerous. Get rid of those. Except breathing. You have to actively think really really hard about breathing otherwise you would suffocate. 